Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Dennis Park, and today we, I'm going to talk about our work titled Is Pseudo Lighter Needed for Monocular 3D Object Detection? This work was done in collaboration with researchers in machine learning team of Toyota Research Institute. Given a single image as an input, monocular 3D detection is a task of predicting 3D bounding boxes and categories of all objects in the image. It is a fundamental task in various applications, such as autonomous driving and robotics. This task is challenging because predicting depth from an image is an ill-posed problem. Accordingly, the error in the depth prediction accounts for the major source of errors of 3D detectors. To address this limitation, researchers have, sh have studied how to use the advances in monocular depth estimation, or monodepth. Pseudo-LiDAR models use state-of-the-art monodefs to turn images into 3D point clouds and then use methods developed for LiDAR-based or RGBD-based detection. In theory, the separation of depth estimation and detection allows for researchers to independently improve each component. However, it is not yet shown that better monodefs lead to better detection. Moreover, their multi-stage pipelines often makes these methods hard to apply in practice and causes poor generalization. Another family of methods is what we call end-to-end -end detectors. These methods typically extend algorithms developed for 2D detection, adding various mechanisms for predicting depths and poses of objects. They are typically easier to train and apply, and has shown less issues in general generalization. However, how to use a large-scale depth data to improve its accuracy has remained an open-ended question. In this work, we introduce a novel end-to-end -end architecture, DD3D, which enjoys the best of the both worlds. DD3D is a multi-test network that can perform 3D detection as well as monodef. The architecture, losses, and the depth inference has what are designed to maximize the knowledge transfer between the two tasks. DD3D consists of, of a feature extractor and the subnetworks that and subnetworks that predict 3D bounding boxes and depths. The two pathways from the input image to the box predictor and to the monodef share most of the computation. This allows the depth representation to be efficiently transferred for 3D detection. To pre-train DD3D, we use 15 million frames of images, which has a sparse per pixel depth annotation obtained from lighter point clouds. DD3D predicts multiple low resolution versions of the depth, of the depth maps and computes L1 losses from the ground truth depths. DD3D is camera aware, which means it takes the camera resolution as an input and use it to scale the predicted depth from the network. This addresses the difference in resolution between the pre-training and target domains. With the depth pre-training, DD3D produces the best accuracy on the popular Kitty benchmark, outperforming all pseudo lighter methods, including, including the one trained on the same large-scale depth data. DD3D shows more than 20% of improvement compared to the previous best method. We, when evaluated on Musings benchmark that contains more object classes and images from full or surround cameras, DD3D outperforms all previous methods, again with a large margin. To understand the effect of that pre-training, pre we experimented with ablation of various pre-training pre stages. When we remove the depth pre-training, we observe a significant decrease in performance. Alternatively, when we remove other pre-training stages and pre-train DD3 only on the depth data, we observe relatively small decrease in performance. This indicates the large-scale depth pre-training is critical for an accurate DD3 model. We also investigate the generalizability of DD3D. We trained a state-of-the-art monodepth network on the same large-scale depth data and use it with the best pseudo lighter approach. Our pseudo lighter model was affected by the widely known general generalization issue between the two subsets of the Kitty dataset. In contrast, DD3D generalizes significantly better across them. Lastly, with, with varying size of the pre-training data, DD3D continues to improve up to 15 million images, which implies that collecting more images with depth might further improve the performance. Our code and the backbone pre-trained on our depth data are released under this URL. Please, please feel free to check out. Thank you.